Hi, my name is Andrea Sachuk. I welcome you to another training on Analysis Workspace and Adobe Analytics. Today I'm going to share with you some tips on how to use Attribution IQ capability in Analysis Workspace. It's very often when my students come to me and say that they are unhappy with how Attribution IQ works and when we investigate what challenges they have, it appears that they do not know how to use Attribution IQ with calculated metrics. What they usually do, they add an Attribution panel to Analysis Workspace and then they decide what dimension they want to use. Um, I will add the marking channel dimension and then they are happy to select different attribution models to compare. So for example, last touch and first touch and then they add one of the metrics to the panel and then they run this analysis by clicking on the build icon. However, what challenge is, is when they want to use a calculated metric. So for example, I have a calculated metrics for orders from United States. So let's take a look how this metric is built. This is just a filter uh, by countries and they try to add this metric to the attribution IQ panel and as you can see it can't be added and then they are unhappy because they think that it's not possible to use the attribution IQ capability for calculated metrics and uh, since the calculated metrics support segmentation it's very often now that instead of populating lots of different events the implementation is done with the calculated metrics that saves the number of events and make it even more convenient to create many more metrics built on the segment rather than on the implementation or implemented events. So today I'm going to show you what you should do if you want to run an attribution IQ capability for a calculated metric. I have a panel um, and as you can see here we have marking channels and the calculated metric added as a column. So now the question is what if I want to compare this uh, calculated metric versus the same metric but with another attribution model. It's very easy and simple just click on the metric and go to the edit metric and then what you can do here is click on the gear icon and check the box that you want to use another attribution model. And then you can select the attribution model that you want to use, for example, first touch. Um, you can configure the lookback window either wizard or visitor and click apply. So now your calculated metric has been updated to the model that you've selected. Then add some context to get an idea what this metric is. So I will just uh, type in that this is a first touch and visitor uh, lookback window and I will click on save as to have a copy of my previous metric rather than to rewrite it. So now as you see I have a new metric and I'm ready to add this metric to my table and now I can compare the default attribution model versus the new model which is first touch visitor and as you understand you can add as many as you need uh, metrics and for every attribution model that you want to use you will need to create a new metric but this is very simple and moreover in the future if you have this metric created you can use it and share it with your colleagues. Hope this tip was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any challenges with the attribution IQ capability within Analysis Workspace or if you have any other challenges with Adobe Analytics um, share this in comments and I will be happy to help you. Thank you for watching this video and talk to you soon.